So after a nice trip to the barbers to trim off a, a lot of excess fluff, during which I decided not to do my hair pink, um, um, I've returned to talk about some more events in Ireland. Yesterday, I noted that the government in Ireland seems to be sort of just ignoring the local people. Um, coincidentally, less than 24 hours later, there was a protest in Ireland in the centre of Dublin. Um, while people on YouTube and other non-traditional media were reporting on it, the reporting on Radio Tilliff Sharon was, well, somewhat lacking, shall we say. It's there. But let me go to the main page. That's where it is on on Radio Tilliff Sharon. But let me go back to their homepage, and you'll see why I say that. Here's their homepage. And here's the main articles for the day. Interest on warehouse tax debt by businesses come. Probably somewhat of a specialist article, that one. Storebound letters, leaders pledge United front amid funding request. Um, amazingly, uh, amazing to see Michelle O'Neill uh, there and a unionist opposite actually finally doing something together. I'm sure there'll be a, an argument sooner or later, though. The unfortunate news of uh, Britain's King Charles diagnosing form of cancer. I'm not going to laugh about that. Too much family experience for that. Then we go back, we find the regional news. And as you go down and 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 down, you eventually find in Dublin 11 arrests as two protests held in Dublin. Now, this maintains that it is estimated that around 1,000 people took part in the protest. Um, you can find, shall we say, a number of links of this protest on YouTube with it fallen from various angles. And I would say rather more than 1,000. I don't want to exaggerate and say it was 20,000 strong or 10,000 strong, but at least probably double or triple that number. It's certainly more than 1,000 at the height of it when you look at it with the number of people passing by the Gardens of Remembrance. They've tried to push it as far down the agenda as they can. And their own narrative doesn't really support it. In a statement, Garda said over 300 members were on duty during the protest. So what were they doing? All getting McDonald's? All going down to Supermax on the end of O'Connell Street, guys? You don't really deploy 300 members of the police for a giggle up there in Dublin. Strategic Commander Chief Superintendent McNamara said, today a significant police operation was deployed in Dublin city centre. Garda had to ch police a challenging environment with a number of public gatherings organised and tended by persons with diversion and opposing views. Um, a, a fine example of official waffle at its finest. Now, as I noted the other day, I tend towards the left politically and, and would be characterised by most people as an old school sort of socialist of a type that borrows quite a lot from people on the far left in in Ireland like Connolly or in Britain like Scargill. And if I'm finding the fact that people aren't dealing with this annoying, I'm sure this is showing that it's getting quite silly. The people in the crowd were plainly unamused and they represented every age range possible. We were not talking about a lot of uh, a play, just old people. There were people from every age range, from teenagers to to 85-year-old people on walkers in this crowd when you watch it on videos. If you doubt me, you feel free to Google the event on YouTube and watch it. The government seems to be just plainly sort of hoping that if they push events like this down to the bottom of the news cycle, that will do. Uh, and it will go away. It won't. You have to answer these people's questions about what is going on here. Um... Yes, there must be some level of organisation behind it, I would say. Obviously, they uh, they didn't all just pop out to the nearest um, tourist shop down O'Connell Street or in the city centre and buy all those flags, but they obviously put some thought and effort into it. But that actually suggests that it is actually a movement that has support. If you look at that crowd shop, it would seem that the government still hasn't learnt there in the Doyle that, you know, if you keep pushing these items down the news agenda, they're not going to disappear just because you don't like them. 
and they're not going to disappear from local area do as in Ireland like local c- counties if you just push them off there they're not going to go away but instead we're treated to this push it out of sight out of mind approach yet again and I can foresee another, more and more of these demonstrations and more and more horrible situations unless somebody actually wakes up and has a dialogue with the locals.